were up at the crack of dawn. Oh wait, it's still the crack of dawn. We were up at 3 a.m. <sighs> Hit the RV, got on the road. I think we went about 20 miles the wrong direction. Turned around. <laughs> All right, so the two things I hate the most are probably waking up early and being cold. So <laughs> here we are at four in the morning and 40 degrees. Today we have Ron Katarsi on set with us, the set being the desert of Idaho. He's gonna teach us how to do studio lighting out in the desert today. I was about 17, uh, Mr. Ron Katarse did one of my first photo shoots and he's a really great photographer, but he's a little intimidating. <laughs> the makeup artist is laughing. <laughs> so here we are, we're doing hair and makeup in the RV. Well, em Emmy's doing hair and makeup and I'm going to learn all of her new tricks. I'm learning your tricks, Emmy. <laughs> We're going to have a beautiful day when the sun pops up over these dunes. It's going to be glorious. Ron is going to be using my camera today. And I promised him that I had everything I needed. <laughs> and now I get here and I'm missing all kinds of stuff and it's driving me crazy. Because I don't want to get yelled at. So today is Tanya and Tia yeah. being the student. They brought in Ron to show them flash photography, balancing that with the natural light. Um, I'm also really interested to learn that, so I'm looking forward to it. I'm kind of hoping I can learn it from inside the RV, maybe just <laughs> listening to some audio or watching with binoculars. I'm not really having a go outside kind of day, so we'll see how it goes. T and I have never really been that into flash photography. Um, natural light is just just our thing. But you know what? I don't think that it would be fair not to keep learning and not to know how to do it if we ever needed to in a, in a flash. <laughs> we get to flip it today and be the students of Ron. Mr. Kintarsi, he's going to guide us through the steps of what it takes to to um, use studio lighting on location. We knew that Ron was the perfect one to teach us because he is like Flash Master Ron. Yeah, he's awesome, awesome. He's got this down. This is something that we've wanted to learn for quite some time and we have a master of light out there who's gonna really show us what's up. We gotta stay tuned in though because Ronald's quick and he's good and he wants us on our toes. Trust you me. <laughs> he's like a general in the army of photography. Setting up the computer right now, so we make sure. So we're gonna, since we are shooting film, but we're gonna use digital as a backup. And uh, so I have the some, uh, Canon 5D Mark II, great, great unit. Got a hard drive backup there. Wanted to be high, we wanted to be out here a little bit earlier, but uh, got a little bit of a late start. <laughs> you know, bundle a couple bunk. But there are no problems, only solutions, so we're gonna make it work. We have hair and makeup, and then as she gets ready, you know, and we see what the lighting is and how the sun comes up, we will move accordingly. I'm very, uh, I'm very improv. I don't really, I don't really, I mean, even if you turn, I mean, if you can, I don't know if you can record this, but even the lighting on that back there, I don't know if you're picking that, but even the, if you look how the quality with the landscape from this right here, there's a shot right there. As I see her come out of the trailer, I, I'll judge accordingly. I shot here, I actually was out here around 12 years ago. I was shooting for a modeling agency that was based out of Boise, Idaho. And, uh, and 
and I was coming out here at least two, three times a year, believe it or not. I feel good. I feel good. I feel good. I'm ready to go. Yeah, and it's, it's early in the morning. People are waking up, but this is this is uh, this is unusual. I mean, this is the type of thing that it, it, when you start doing more productions, you get used to this type of uh, routine. And I think everybody's doing a great job considering this is not part of the norm. You know, we're basically doing this on, on the fly. You know, the fact we have an RV that came out in the 1970s. It looks like it came from National House, National Lampoon Vacation. It lifts up and then it slides. But it got us here. So uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. It was kind of a stressful morning. A couple things went wrong. We didn't have some of the equipment. Um, got a little bit of a late start. Today was wild and crazy. <laughs> Let's get this out of here, Melissa. Yep. I don't need this here. Get it out. But boy, is that guy crack the whip. What could not have gone wrong today? Everything went wrong. Like from the generator being forgotten, to us going the wrong way in the RV, to me losing all kinds of important things on the camera that Ron was gonna use of mine. Ron, I think we have minimal power right now, although I'm not exactly plugged into the steamer. But we have cord running through the window at the back of the RV into somebody's SUV, some sort of converter that I don't understand, but hopefully it will not start an electrical fire and we'll all be fine. <laughs> And I think we have power running to the curling iron down too, so we're powered up. Go team. Has anybody, anybody seen, uh, Emmy, have you seen my black gloves? Did you see a pair of black gloves? Hey guys, what are we all laying around here for? We gotta get this all organized. Can we, can we, can we, keep, can we keep, guys, we gotta keep this place clean because a clean ship is a happy ship. And if it's, uh, if it's, if it's all messed up, it's out of control. I'm out of control. <laughs> you don't wanna see me out of control. It's not a control. Giving out orders left and right. You kind of have to, you kind of have to wear, have some thick skin when you're working with Ron. So we're testing our steamer and it, it's not working. Yeah, let's unplug the steamer and plug the curling iron back in. I mean, we'll make it, we'll make it work regardless. Yeah, this is a, this is another thing, man. You guys, you, you know, everybody, that generator not being here is major, major muck up i mean that is i mean everybody's just assuming that everybody has every every that is done you should have a checklist and and when i get my shoots ready i put it all by the door you know and everybody's here sort of like you know out west and very cool i mean i, I grew up in the west and i've been in the mountains but you know you got to change hats and when you're doing a production business you got to have everything you got to have everything generator check oh where's the generator okay we don't have it everybody just assume it's Granola, granola, take, get, get this. If you're gonna start doing this stuff, you gotta get out of that granola head, Excuse me. you know? He let us know that our Western hat was gonna have to come off and our Eastern hat was gonna come on so we could run the ship more efficiently and get the shoot done. It was one bad thing after another. Hilarious. It could not have happened um, at a more hilarious time with Ron, like Sergeant Ron, <laughs> barking orders. Boom, 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 boom. He wants it done before you can ever even think about getting it done. He wants it done all yesterday. So what do we learn here, gang? We learn to make a checklist. Check it twice, like Santa Claus. Uh, maybe more times. <laughs> and getting so mad at everybody. <laughs>
<laughs> it was awesome. But you know what? It works for him. 20 some odd, 30 some odd years working in production, making beautiful pictures, covers, editorials. I mean, the man has, uh, he's like the Energizer Bunny. He just keeps on going. It was really funny, actually, but a little bit shameful because it was like, oh my God, <laughs> it's so embarrassing. <laughs> I have to say, I think for some of the crew today, it was definitely a real, like really far outside of their box. His whole, his style, his way of doing things. But the cool thing was Ron made the best of it. That's the beautiful thing about the world, isn't it? That we all get to kind of choose our formulas and our methods and our perception and our, um, the way we, the way we go about doing things. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I just, I just, I let me turn that up. There's several ways you can do to use strobe outside. You can either overpower the existing light and really create a, uh, an environment where you have a couple lights firing, but you really want to capture, you want to capture environment and make it look a little bit surreal. So what I asked Greg to bring, and you brought a real nice light here. What is this? This is the... It's, an, a, it's an A&B 1600. It's, uh, it's, a lot of, it's portable. It's portable. I have a 22 inch beauty dish and to fire it off just yeah, we're working on electronic slave here yep yeah it'd be perfect so what we're going to do is that this is going to be he's going to be mobile and we're going to use the digital uh background where we would have had polaroid but we're going to use digis instead and we're going to fire um move the light he'll be able we'll be able to see where the light looks best and uh where it, years ago when you had Polaroid, you basically had to go off the Polaroid, put it on your arm, especially when it's cold out here, you can warm it up, make sure and then pull it off, and then you get a little dust and scratches on it. And when we have a budget, I mean, I have, I mean, I rent the, the pro photos, the D9s and stuff like that, but my, I have old equipment that, that works fine. You know, it's just, it's not, it's not what you, it's how you, if it, if it flashes, you can work with it. Tools don't make the carpenter. He's the carpenter. <laughs> so we're probably going to, we might as well leave it here. Because Aaron, I was going to show you this. I mean, right now the light's beautiful, but this is the perfect example. We should have been out here. We should have had two shots going right now. We, we, we missed that really nice light. 
So what we're gonna do is now the sun's gonna come up a little bit. The sun's up right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a little lens flare. So we're trying to figure out <laughs> along with our generator back back at the back at the studio partying right now because they got the day off. So uh, so we're figuring out a way to uh, block the sun from my from my lens because we don't have the lens shade. Key elements lens shades. Need those. So when he's just rigging a um, a lens shade, that or these will be fine too. And yeah. we got other ones. So yeah. So, but one we got two. We got enough hands yeah. here. Tamara and Jolene. So you guys are gonna work, work with this right here. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. So you come over there and get on that side, sweetheart. And you come over on this side. And you're gonna hold it like this. So I'm not holding yeah. this no. one. So basically, and then I'll tell you. I'll say angle it this. And I'll, and I'll take you, angle it this way. Exactly, bam, bow, exactly. Kids, you okay? Yeah, I'm cold. You're cold and whatever. <laughs> okay, now what you're gonna do, I'm see, sure. Rach? Yeah. I'm gonna have you actually see the way you, you can lean up against this thing and create almost like a nice little lean. Okay? Rachel? Yeah. Let me just see you. Well, I definitely know I'm gonna give it a warming treatment because I saw the, I like the way the. You know, in fact, I'm gonna go. I'm going to shoot mostly horizontal on everything because I can always do a vertical from cropping on the sides. Okay. So it's always good to go more cinematic. This way, we're, this way we got the vertical top to bottom and we can always crop in on the sides. Okay, Smart thing to do. And yeah, you bring that right behind me there. there. It's absolutely stunning. Okay, let's, uh, coming around here, try uh, if, do we have a broom in the, in the van? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can we have a broom? I just want to sweep some of this, this area here. Yeah, I just want to smooth it out. I love the little feet things you're doing and even like that. Try and do it naturally instead of looking down and just feel it. Okay, I just want you to feel it. You're just hanging out. I'm not necessarily here. Okay? And I like that, I like that, like that nice, nice face right there. Pretty. You're very calm, you're not trying and I like that. I don't want you to try, just be. I'm ready to go, gang. It's, uh, do we have the broom? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. Perfect. Beautiful. Good. Open, even open up the jacket just a little bit. Oh, I love that. Yeah, even a little bit more, honey. Even more like this, and even put the hand like the. Per yeah, we want to see that detail on that. Good, excellent kid, good, beautiful. Don't forget to breathe. Ooh, I love that. Ooh, I love that in just your eyes like that. Do that again. You did it, you... And the head up a little bit more. Nice, good. Good, nice, hon. I like to turn the body this way. Nice, I love that. Looking straight out there like at the, at the light. Don't move at all, here we are. Love this, perfect. Here we go. I'm gonna shoot some film on this. Okay. Uh, 80 at f10. Or 80 at. We can go. Uh, can I go 11? No. Open up. Okay. 80. Just put that on. Let's do a test. Here we go. Uh, what's our next lens after this? 65. Do we have a 65? Yes. Do we have it here? What is this? What are we? Oh, yeah. Let me have the 65. That's the. Too wide for you. Yeah, you want me right behind you the whole time. Distance yeah, wise, you stay at this distance. distance. Yeah, that's the lens. That's it. That's it. That's it. Here you go. Yeah. yeah, I like that. Nice and simple. I like that. There you go. Here you go. Last test. 
Sorry, here we go. Chin up to me. Nice, I like that. Simple. Do it again. Chin up a little bit, baby. Get the hair back. Oh, I love that. Don't move. Don't move. I love that. Eyes, eyes over me. Not eyes like you're looking over my head. Nice. There we go. Oh, look at there. I like there. Good. Love that. That's love so that. Beautiful. Nice. Huh? Excellent. Hold it, honey. Yep. Nice. So pretty. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Keep the head up, baby. Just a little bit off. Work that three-quarter face. Nice, nice, beautiful. Work them out. Whew. Breathe. Don't forget to breathe. Nice, beautiful. Pretty, Here we pretty. go. Beautiful. Good. Beautiful. Good. I like it off camp. That's it. We're done. Get it warm. Good. Good job. Shot number one done. Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. Look at me. You don't have to have the light just completely out of You can just fire it. At, we can just, we're going to turn it, and we're going to get a sliver. So basically, we're here. We're going to take it. We're going to do it, and we're going to... The light's going to go out there, but we're still going to get, get get some of that from out there. Too much. I can train that the head out with a smaller head. You can want to... Because this one's... Oh. This 16. I have 800s. So won't put out as much power if this is too much. Because we're at the end of it. Okay, get This it. is the lowest setting. I can get a smaller yeah, head. Yeah, get the smaller head. What's my setting on that? 210. I like that. I like that. I like that starting off looking down like that. Nice. Love that. Love that right there. Beautiful. I love that. Don't move, 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 And even swing out a little bit more. Lean, 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 lean. Lean, close your eyes. <laughs> Let's go! You're gonna come in from over there, right? Uh, no, 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 no. I love it. Okay. Let it, let it just go. Let it just go. Turn the bag. We have the right side of the bag. Yes. Right side of the bag. I like it. Okay, I love that. I love that. Not at me, not at camera. You the best shots. Are. And I like actually some of those. And when you put your hand in the pocket, don't push it and keep the coat in front like this. Yeah. Yeah. Keep the coat. See the way it's opening up like that? So what you it's opening up like that, just keep it like that. There you go. Alright, love it. Off camera though. And even you can walk around this way. Yeah, fix that bag nice. Good, good, good.
like working with the flash and all that, but but I'm I'm still confused. So, will you tell us what what kind of settings you use on your camera and what the differences are and what kind of the flash actually does with this natural light? Well, a lot of times in this type of situation, are you okay back there? <laughs> By the way, if you look very if you look very carefully, well here we have a very interesting loon, a loony bird. I would normally, uh, sh I would probably drag the shutter and I would use, I would expose for the shadow area and let the highlights go. The thing about using the flash is that you want to keep all this beautiful subtlety. Are you okay back there? You want to keep all the beautiful subtlety of these values and you want to bring the light in the front. So the flash allows you to expose for the ambient light, which you would do normally, and you pick up all this detail up in here, all this, all this, all this color value. If I expose for her, all this goes out. So the, the strobe is going to allow me to have both. Have both. Best, Best of both, both worlds. worlds. Okay. Awesome. And so that so that strobe right there, we're going to bring it up high, and it's going to come down. It's going to actually kiss through here. We'll pick up a little shadow here, but mostly uh, Craig is going to have we have the we have the strobe on a very low power, so it's going to come through here, and that's why I put her back here because we got a path. To, we'll pick up some little shadows, but we don't mind those. Rachel's doing an amazing job. She's really good. So, uh, oh, did you hear that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but if you notice, if you're talking more, you give her more confidence. Her head gets really big. See, it will fill up this whole area here, <laughs> <laughs> and then it'll block out the light. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what were you saying? What were you saying? <laughs> so, uh, are you using the digital uh, mostly to warm her up? Like, warm her and up, then, and, and also where we don't have the Polaroid, so it's just to get the lighting balance. Yeah. Okay. But I'm enjoying the, the film tremendously. And what are your settings? On well, the setting right now, well, I'm at 160th, 13th, and I'm uh, this is 400 ASA film. I'm rating the film at 320. What kind of film are we shooting? It's today? Fuji uh, NPH. Hey, Ryan Muirhead here with a quick film tip for you. Before you load any of your film, you're gonna wanna open it up and make sure that they rolled it correctly. Make sure all the film's in there, good, level, well, the paper, paper backing's on smooth. Then you can just uh, rewind and you're ready to shoot. It's just important to check each time so that you don't have any uh, mishaps while shooting. The more you know.
Oh, there it is. There it is. Thank you. Perfect. You're welcome. Ah, <laughs> shake the hair back. Watching Ron work was interesting. I think it was a little bit different than I expected, even though I'm not sure entirely what I did expect. With the blistering cold and the wind was gusting and there probably were a lot of reasons to kind of, you know, I don't, not give up, but to not give as much, but he got it out of them. He definitely has a different way of operating than most of the photographers I'm used to being around. I also admire the way that he does get involved with the wardrobe and the hair and the makeup. And He's not one of those photographers that just sits back and lets, lets his crew do what they want and then he pushes the button. He's fully involved from, from the beginning of the vision to the end. Um, he has no problems getting in there and moving a jacket or pushing the hair the way he wants it. I think photographers should really look at that. He utilized a really simple setup today with um, some direct flash right behind the camera onto the subject, uh, shooting with a pretty deep stop to retain a lot of the information in crisp focus. Maintained a pretty straightforward shooting style. It was really fun to see how how unique every photography style is and how different um, different photographers do it. Now this is going to be like a giant hat on you. <laughs> You're going to be laying down that way. I'm going to get up on the ladder. I'm going to get up on the ladder. Bring the, can we have that, can we have the step stool here, guys? If you could do something. going to get it. Oh, I can't handle this. It's so hard. I love a little sagebrush. <laughs> Kid. You're killing it. Love that. Yeah, I like it. What happened to our good shoes? I like these better. Okay. You want film? Yeah. Yep. 160. 160. 13. Can you eat more sagebrush or sand? Eat sand. sand. Oh. Lick the sand. Turn your body, turn your body, turn your body, turn. Yeah. Turn, 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 turn away, turn away from me. Uh, chin up a little bit more. The other way, other way, other way. Other way, other way, other way. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Okay. Got it. Got this one. Okay. Last shot here. Okay, we're going to have you come over here, uh, Miss uh, Rach. Yeah. Okay, come around here. And you can come down here. Thank you. You're gonna go straight back. Go back. All right, Peter, hold it. That's gorgeous. I like the hand, just where you are. Don't worry about the dress. We'll, you have a team here. We'll take care of you. Okay, bring your head a little bit over. Hold on, I'm just gonna place it. No, I'm good. Ron, do you want the 50 lens on for this? <laughs> Oh, look at it. You don't have them underneath here. Just get them back underneath. There, hold on here. No, that's what I like that. Pull it. Do it again. Do it again. Look where you're pulling it. Look where you're pulling it. Just your eyes at me. Just so beautiful. I'm really glad that he chose that location. And every which way you turn, there was a beautiful picture. Definitely Rachel did an amazing job. You know, personally, I don't know if I'll ever use flash in in the natural daylight. It, it has its own look. I loved, I mean, I was dying because there was this gorgeous natural light. And I wish I had my camera today. That was fun. It was really fun. He is a riot. He is a riot. How did you feel about shooting with him? I know he got was a little hard on you a couple times. <laughs> yeah, he was very touchy and uh, very expressive and directive, but I think it was overall a good shoot. I, 
I liked watching you transform from the beginning of the day to the end of the day. Yeah. Like whatever you did worked because by the end of the day you were just like doing all your things. Yeah, I definitely yeah. loosened up with his direction. It was interesting to say the least. I thought <laughs> the wardrobe worked fantastic with the location. Yeah, yes. the color palette was Absolutely. so complimentary it to the surroundings. It could not be more perfect. It's true. I just loved it. Yeah, those yeah. girls did a, a fantastic job. So. Yeah. We used some artificial light. How'd, how'd you guys feel about that? See? I mean, I kind of thought, here's the truth <laughs> of the matter. It's hard to break out from what you see, it, from what you're used to. Yeah. So, but I it's mean, cool. because with the naked eye, it looks beautiful just the way it is, right? Yeah. So I guess adding this, I mean, we're going to be able to see more as we as we see the pictures. Yeah, but it'll be a different look. I guess look. it's just going to basically, you know, give everything a little bit more shine. That's the way I, I describe it. a little more it. pop, right? A little more pop. Yeah. Personally, I just wouldn't want to lug all that stuff around. It seems like a lot of work. So far, that still seems to be what I feel too. Like yeah. just, mm, just the way it is. But I am anxious to see how it looks. On yeah, I film. am too. Definitely, definitely. I'm really anxious to see how it looks when we, when the film comes back. I okay. do know Ron's work looks beautiful always, and he does know what the heck he's doing. So, so, so. I guess you know. There we go. We An could leave. We could leave it to the master. Different. He's the master. I learned to ah. not jack with him because he <laughs> he's a little scary. You learned that the minute you hand that camera over, it better be on the right settings. Yeah, because I learned that like I learned to be a better assistant. Mm -hmm. It was my first time, so mm -hmm. I think I did okay. I think you did great, T. And I do have to say that you, I mean, like from the beginning of the day to the end of the day, you, de you definitely, you know, he is one of those guys, he's not going to let up. He just doesn't let up. He he has energy from the moment he wakes up till the moment he crashes. Like he's just he's not gonna let you get off the hook. So I guess as a model working with Ronald, you gotta kick it, it was in. A, yeah, good. You have no choice but to just go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> kind of a good education, huh? Yeah, it was. It yeah. was kind of an adventure to work with him. Yeah. And yeah. he was funny. And also he had positive reinforcements once we got the shot. So yeah. That yeah. Was yeah. Important. He's kind of brutal when you're not getting yeah, it, but exactly. when you get it, he's got some good, really some love for you. I'll back up. Oh yeah. Good job. Yeah. Fun stuff, huh? Fun. Yeah. Had a really nice time. Excellent. Great crew. Thank you, everybody. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Wookie. So I'd like to, I have a question, Ron. Um, how did it feel to, to shoot the Mamiya 67 again? I love it. It, uh, it, it it's a really heavy uh, camera, but uh, when you get this camera and you have the full, you have the full uh, wind there and the rapid wind and the and uh, the, the grip, it's a, it's a great unit. It's the best camera out there, I think. Woo! How'd it feel yeah. shooting a little film again today? Loved it. Nice. Loved it. I, like I said, I'd shoot more. Mm -hmm. Film, you have to. Look at the lighting, it's just incredible. So I got beautiful. Shot. <laughs> <laughs> Did you light. have some fun today? I had a ball. How'd you, have, how'd you feel working with Rachel today? Uh, <laughs> Rachel was absolutely amazing. Yeah, you know, she has experience and it showed. To have this, this face and this coloring and, mm -hmm. and to. I haven't even had a drink today, and she looks like Angelina Jolie. <laughs> <laughs> she is very unique. No, she looks amazing. She's very unique, I would say. She's when you go into the agencies, she's... there's not a lot of girls. Yeah, that it's look gonna like be. Her. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna send her to Paris and to New York and see what. The, she's too. gonna get a lot of bites. I think so too. Well, let's have a little right. Let's do it. <laughs> Provided by Fuji Film. And a special thanks to Richard Photolab for processing all images in this episode. Like the music? Special thanks to Triple Scoop Music. Frame Network giveaways are brought to you by BH. Head to giveaways.framenetwork.com for your chance to win. Find out more about the equipment used in this episode on framenetwork.com.